What's up, everybody? I'm Jeremy from Weld Tech Designs, and today I am back in the attic. I definitely don't hang out here nearly as enough as I want to. Part of it is because you and because me and my special guest today are, well, I guess we're about six feet away from each other, so we would probably be totally okay. And, you know, every time I'm up here, I say that I'm going to keep getting up here more and I just neglect it. And I guess I'm thankful for that because a lot of it is just due to how busy we are here at Weld Tech Designs. Uh, but today, my special guest is... I'm Kevin Johnson, everyone, from Growing Up Now, hold on a second. We got to wait for this applause. There it is. I'm All right. Kevin Johnson, 91, from Growing Up Applause. I got to remember what all these, <laughs> that wasn't even the laugh. <laughs> there is, so, uh, <laughs> it's, <laughs> we've already lost it. We're like 30 seconds into this. All right. All right. Calm down. Relax. I know he thinks that that laugh is hilarious and that is always a good time. So one of the things since I got Caden up here, um, you know, this is coming out right before Thanksgiving and we are coming up on a big holiday and then we're going to be rolling into Christmas and we thought, why not come up here? You know, I want to start off this by saying that I am, you know, very grateful for so many things. I know 2020 has been a crazy, crazy year um, with all the um, beer bug, let's call it, going around and the crazy things. I mean, there's nothing we can't say. 2020 will be a year that people just never, ever forget. And although they're going to probably want to forget it because it's just one of those years we could have just left alone and just moved on and just not had it. But anyways, we're in November. We're almost through this year. I have not made nearly as many podcasts as I want to. And, you know, that is going to be my big uh, goal for 2021 is that I do do more podcasts, especially with this guy. And speaking of this guy, so we've even talked when it comes to growing up garage, um, we're going to even turn the microphones over to some kids and have them, you know, come up here and do their own kind of podcast and have some fun. But what I really want to touch base in is before I get into talking with Caden is I really want to talk about growing up garage. And you guys maybe have seen you know, us talking about it in a lot of videos, uh, us showing you maybe the hats or merchandise that uh, we have for Growing Up Garage and want you to know that it is more than, you know, just a clothing brand. What our goal is with Growing Up Garage is, well, Caden, can you tell me what is the goal with Growing Up Garage? We want to try to reach a thousand subscribers for Growing Up Garage and we want to try to race the Mini Mitt at the Mitt 400 next year so we need you guys to help us and yeah we're going to be doing a series with already raise your well wait a second before you get carried away what is growing up garage what is the goal of growing up garage not what uh, do you want to do what is the goal of growing up garage what's the whole point of this we want to try to teach kids about tools and driving we do so our goal like you said our goal this is um this is something that is on me that I feel that a lot of kids lack the experience or the ability to use tools. Um, maybe they're not taught it at home. It's one of those things that just aren't taught as much anymore. And I think as kids get older, um, you know, middle school kids and a lot of high school kids used to have shop class or things of that nature, which really kind of maybe taught them a little bit more than they ever got to know about. And they're not getting that anymore. I mean, heck, kids are barely even going to school now, at least where we live here in San Diego in California. So that's definitely a huge negative. And like what he said, uh, we did our, our first workshop last month where we went down to Chula Vista and we had a whole workshop set up. Uh, we have a video on our YouTube. I'll make sure I put a link to it um, in this podcast. But we went there, Weld Tech Designs went there with growing up garage and our whole intention was to help kids learn about tools and we had a workshop and what did you think about it tell me what you thought about the workshop and what did you like the most about it all of it 
Well, there's got to be some things. So tell us about the workshop. Tell us about um, Spirit of the Fair. So that's what it is called, Spirit of the Fair. And we're going to be doing more events with Spirit of the Fair. But what did we do at this event? So tell me about the event. So um, if you would have came to our booth, there would be this table that had all of the tools on it, a screwdriver, a ratchet, and a wrench. And you would come over there, and there would be, like, this metal plate with screws on it, and you would have to take those screws out and loosen the bolts. Right, and you so you got a chance to use three different tools, and you were actually using them on an application. So we were, like you said, we were screwing them into the piece of metal. Um, we had a bolt where you could tighten up the bolt and then also use it a nut to tighten up the nut. So you were getting to experience three different tools and actually using motor skills uh, to be able to use those, which is great for a lot of kids. I mean, some, one of the kids, uh, one of his comments stood out to me the most was like, he said, my mom doesn't let me play with her tools. And I thought that was great because it's like, you know, here's the thing. We want to really instill in you that, you know, you can use tools and not to mention that you can use tools as a way to make money. A lot of people think that you just are going to use tools to work on your own stuff. Um, but I'm going to have to say, I'm very thankful. I mean, there's a lot of tools that we use to make money every day. Because with those tools, you can make other stuff to sell. Exactly. You nailed it. You can make other things to sell and you can repair things. So not only did we have that tool station set up at the Spirit of the Fair event, what else did we have set up there? We had the cars there and then we had a table with all of our stickers and our little flyers with me and Kendall on it. So you say cars. What, tell me about these cars. What kind of cars did you have there at the Spirit of the Fair booth? So we had one mini dwarf that I drive. Not anymore. My sister actually drives it now. Okay. And then we had my go-kart and Kendall's go-kart there. And that was pretty awesome. How many kids loved getting in the go-kart and in the mini dwarf? A lot. Yeah, so that was the other thing. It was really neat. All the kids, it was free reign. Get in our go-karts, get in our mini dwarf, climb on them, sit in them, pretend like you're driving, have a good time, and then also then backing it up with all these tools. A lot of the kids also thought it was great that they got a autographed poster from either Caden or Kendall. And Kendall has been killing it. She is four years old right now. And she raced this whole season this year in a go-kart and just killed it. She's done so good in every single race. I mean, I just, I cannot be more proud of her as a dad. And I mean, she's killed it. She's done great. And so this last race that we just had, uh, she raced a mini dwarf for the first time. And this video will be up shortly. So you guys will be able to see that over on Growing Up Garage. You'll be able to see Caden and Kendall now racing mini dwarfs together. Um, and then also they're both racing go-karts, obviously in different classes. Caden is now seven and Kendall is four. So they're in a different class. Um, but both have been doing really good. So now that we're on this topic of racing, so that's, so before I guess, let me make sure I clear this up. So growing up garage again, guys, you know, we're all about teaching kids on how to use tools and, and then backing that up, showing the kids, you know, teaching them about the race cars. And then our goal is to give some of these kids opportunities to actually, whether it be on a practice day or race day, get some of these kids in a race car and allow them to do some laps. And that's, you know, taking this even a step further. And I'm going to tell you that in 2021, I'm definitely going to need some help doing this. So if you are at all interested in getting involved in Growing Up Garage, uh, we're definitely going to be looking for some help for doing that uh, as well. So a ton of things coming as long as let's say conditions allow them, like hopefully we start having more events going on. So that's Growing Up Garage in a nutshell. Um, and I'm going to have a ton more stuff coming from you as we have a new website getting built and that'll be up too. So you'll be able to get more information on there. But anyway, so I want to talk more about racing. So you had a great year of racing. So this year you've raced go-karts and mini dwarfs all season long. You've raced, uh, where do you race at? I race at Broda Speedway, the Dolmar Fair, and Cal VMX. Okay, and so this year at Barona Speedway was a short season. It was only 
Um, four races, right? How many races? Like four, no, five. I want to be able to hear you. Get up by that microphone a little bit more. Four, Pull that. Or, yeah, four. Four races, okay. And we didn't have the best season at Brona, huh? We only finished one race because that car was just bad that season. But luckily, um, that one race was good. I got second place, and I rolled twice. What? Rolled twice? What are you talking flipped. about? Like rolled? Like flipped. your car rolls? You flipped your car. So I walk me through this. What ha- How did you manage to flip a mini dwarf? Um, so one... Because I was going to lap a car. One was on the outside, and I was real close to that car. And I went over that car's tire and then flipped. And then the second one was um, the race was finished, and me and the leader were still racing. Um, And I came to the leader and tried passing him, and I hit him, and I flipped. Boy, we're going to call you Crash, huh? Twice in one race. I am already crashed. I know. and But you still were able to finish second in that race, and that was pretty awesome. So, And we got this all on film, so if you don't know, again, what I'm talking about, I'm going to tell you guys, head over to Growing Up Garage, watch that video of Brona. Now, let's talk about Brona. Do you have more fun racing or more fun interviewing race car drivers? I think both. I mean, they're both really fun. I like having the microphone and interviewing all my friends yeah you've definitely made a lot of friends out at barona uh racing which has been pretty cool so now where else we also had a big season up at cal vmx we raced six races i believe there at cal vmx and up there you get to race your mini dwarf and your go-kart right yeah you can race any type of motorcycle um, three wheelers, mini bikes, and yeah, the mini dwarf and the go karts. So, what do you think? So, what is your favorite? Do you like Campo racing at Cal VMX better, or do you like Brona better? I think I like Campo. You like Campo? It's a way better track, and Brona is just super bumpy, a bunch of rocks, and yeah. Yeah, I agree. I'm gonna say that Brona is a very rough track. So. Tell me about your season up at uh, up in Campo then. How did you do in your mini dwarf up in Campo? Up at Campo in my mini dwarf, I believe I got like third in the season and then I got... Got second in the season. So you were in a points battle up until the final race. You were two points down in, to win the championship and we didn't make it happen, huh? No. No. But so. At least maybe next year we can... Make it happen at both tracks. Yeah, maybe we can. But did we have fun driving? Yeah. And so here's my thing is, do you think you got, or do you think that you're a better driver at the end of this year than you were at the beginning of last year? I think this year was better than last year. Yeah, but I'm saying, like, do you think that over the course of this year that you've gotten faster and become a better driver? Yeah. Okay, see, that's what, what do you think? So we also got Austin has a microphone on here. You're not going to see him on camera, but Austin, what do you think? I mean, you've been watching him since, you know, the beginning of this craziness that we call racing. What would you say would, have you noticed an improvement? Oh yeah, definitely a big improvement. He's doing much better. I mean, we used to call him the Blanco Tortuga or Tortuga (laughs) Blanca. And then Mr. Ed. Yeah, Mr. Ed, because he crashed into hay bales. But now I'm kind of sharp. You didn't even tell them how you beat uh, Dalton, 19 oh, yeah. years What's old. Oh, yeah, what's up? What? Yeah, you we got him out. So at this last race, <laughs> we'll get into that. So then um, this last, so and then in go-karts. So in go-karts, how did your season go in go-karts? Um, good. I, your I, first in go-karts for your, in your age at Campo, at Cal VMX, you got first. Yes. And so in this last race that we had, the final race, you called out, um, Dalton Colley, I want to say is his nice. last name, Colley. And he's your buddy up there at Cal VMX. He's 19 years old. He is a incredible motorcycle rider. Maybe we're going to have to hit him up and be like, Dalton, come on our podcast. You know, I'm sure he would have fun. He's a, he's a cool guy. Um, but you wanted to race him in go-karts and how did that go? I beat him. Yeah. Are you, 
you know, that, so he called out Dalton. He said, hey, I want to race you in go-karts. And did you guys have fun? Yeah. What's the best part? Why did Why did you want to race Dalton? Um, I just thought it would be fun, too. You just want to race random people. It's not random. I know, but he's like, all right. So it was pretty fun to watch them battle it out and have some fun, definitely, in that race. And again, guys, these videos are all up on our YouTube channel. And like he mentioned in the beginning of this, our goal is to get to a thousand subscribers over there. So with that being said on growing up garage and kind of him and racing, um, I got to want to, we're going to touch base a little bit on now on what Weld Tech Designs has coming for you guys. So I want you guys to know that um, when it comes to Weld Tech Designs, we do have a lot of cool new products coming out. Um, we're going to have a Nissan Envy lift coming in January 2021. We have a lot of cool new products for the Ford Transit. So you're going to have a lift for the Ford Transit now. Um, also, we have some rock sliders and bumpers and things of that nature coming for the Transit. So that's going to be super awesome. I'm excited, excited, excited. These have been things that I have been working on a lot. And then when it comes to the RVs, that's been a, a big thing that we've really been trying to make better, 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 um, and you know, constantly changing things. And I have some really cool rear bumpers coming for the RVs that I think you guys will appreciate and like. And this is where also I hope you guys take the opportunity to comment in this video if you're going to hang out with us, you know, the entirety of it would be to like really comment on it below. Let me know what you guys would like us to talk about. Let us know if you guys would like us to go and do like another live Q&A. Um, and the reason I'm asking you guys is because a lot of times these videos can be like two hours long, like some of these podcasts where we do the Q&A. And I just need to make sure that you guys, it's something that you're interested in, want to get involved in. You guys have questions for us. Um, so... We're coming up on Thanksgiving. I didn't I ask you? Did I ask you this yet? Did I ask you? It's Thanksgiving time. Tomorrow's Thanksgiving. We're super excited. What are you thankful for over there, dude? Um, I'm thankful for that my family is healthy and that I get to race a mini dwarf in a go-kart and that I have a Razor 170. A Razor 170. Okay, so now that you brought up this Razor 170, let's talk about this. So this is going to be something I'm going to do and I have a, video series coming out, we are going to um, head back out into the garage and we are going to do a new build series in 2021. And this is going to be a Razor 170, like he said. And then we are also going to be building a uh, Razor 1000 Turbo S. And we are going to be building these things side by side. Uh -huh. Wait, where's the... You know, you get it. We're going to be building these side by side. Since oh, I there. it's a side by side. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So we're going to be building these things and we're going to be adding a ton of stuff to them. Caden is goal. Like he mentioned, he wants to race the mini mint. So we're going to be looking for some sponsors to jump on board of this uh, whole build series and be having a lot of fun. I know that a lot of you guys may, you know, maybe not necessarily into the side-by-sides on our channel, but, you know, we may be bringing in a whole new audience of people that maybe do enjoy the side-by-side, -side, and that's something that we want to be doing is, uh, you know, we go out and drive together, and that's the goal is to go out and drive more and find out all the things that you can do to them to make them better. I know that there's a million things that you can do to these things as I've seen them like ridiculously crazy, but um, we just went out and we went practicing. We went and did probably about 50 miles um, in his side-by-side. -side. You, how'd you do? Would you have fun? Good, and we got to see a miner shack, and that was really cool, I thought. Yeah. And then we went to the back caves that... I didn't really like. Didn't really like? So, yeah, he didn't like really the bat didn't. caves at all. Like, he was freaked out. Like, it was hilarious. He was, like, scared to death of the bat caves and thought the bats were going to come out and eat him and pick him up and carry him away. No. No? What did you think? I just didn't want to go to 
completely dark cave. No, you didn't want to go into a dark cave? No. All right. So it was a lot of fun. He got to put a lot of miles on his, um, you know, Razor 170, which was really cool. And that definitely made us really realize that we need to do some suspension improvements to it because it needs some work on it for sure. So maybe even if you guys have some insight, I'm down to learn because I am completely new to razors and learning um, all about them. And I just know nothing about them. Like when it comes to vans, I got, you I got your fast. They're fast, though. That's something you know Well, about. I know that the razors are fast, but I'm sure that you can make them even faster and make them handle better and, and put a better cage in them and better, better seat belts, seats and seat belts. It becomes never-ending in what you put into them, just like a van. Yeah, like a van. You can put so much stuff into a van, and I know how to build a van, so we're, my goal is to help teach him how to build a razor and so then maybe, maybe go like race it. Maybe the same thing. Maybe same thing, kind of like building a van. I know. I'll tell you what I need for the razor. We need to start off first of all. The main thing we need to get on this thing is we need some method wheels on it with some tensor tires. That's what I need. I need hey method. I need some method race wheels and some tensor tires for this razor builds. You know, so Caden the man needs it. I need it. We're going to have to work on that. You guys know that we love our method wheels on our vans 100%. We run these things and love them. I mean, they work great, and I can say that I've honestly never had a problem with any method wheel ever that just holds up to the abuse that we put out on it, which is awesome. So we're going to start building that. We're going to film this whole thing. We're going to start this whole build next week. We're going to kick it off with our first video on this, which is going to be awesome. On the razor? Yeah, we're going to start this off. I think coming up on Thanksgiving weekend, we're going to head out to the desert. We even maybe need to get some action so- shots of you driving that. What do Why you think? Why don't we do it kind of if we're not super, super, super busy with the well check. We could probably do it before the desert, and then the desert can do, like, testing. Oh, yeah, maybe. that would. And then we'll probably whatever. Whatever. <laughs> whatever, guys. Just what. What's wait, if you listen to this, you hear Austin laughing in the background of that. I never noticed that. Listen to it carefully. Listen at the end. Is that an echo or is it Austin? Oh, that is me. (laughs) Austin is laughing in the background of that one. So that is funny. Oh, I forgot. That's Kendall's one. When we get Kendall back on. So Caden loves that. So, um, <laughs> all right. Do it again. All right. One more time. Ready? All right. So we're going to be building the razor. We're going to have fun. And, oh, wait a second. You know what else that totally might pertain to this? Um, I have a new van build coming next year. So I might as well just throw that out, and this is the intro to it. So next year, I'm going to build a new van. Hey, if you're interested in Velocis, Velocis could be for sale. Um, I'm going to throw that out right there, and we're going to be looking at, you know, you're going to want, we're going to be in that six-figure price range. So if you are looking to add a van to your family, you could add Velocis to your family as we are going to start a new build next year. Um, Don't wait. Don't worry. We will be posting a new video on all about what we're going to be have going on as we are going to build a brand new and know this is going to sound like but not, what are we going to name the van? I don't like know. We're, what kind? Because it's black right now, like Black Widow or something like black, Venom. Ooh, Black Widow. That could be a good one. Like Venom. Know. Hey, I like where your head's at. You know, maybe these or would. Maybe, I don't know. I mean, I like Black Widow. That could be a good one. Venom. Instead of Venom, how about this? Vanum. Oh, yeah. Vanum. Vanum, like Venom, but Vanum. I think I like Black Widow. And- Vanum Widow? Black I Widow? I don't think Vanum sounds good with Widow. Yeah, I don't think so either. I'm just, you know. Yeah, that's I think- something. We'll have to think about a name. So we have a black van. 
this is a brand new van. And when I mean brand new, like, I guess it's not the year is new. It's a 2016 van. It is a 6.6 Duramax diesel. So it's the big diesel. Um, however, I've been saving this van for the past couple of years. Um, the thing is brand new. Like, it literally is brand new. So, not like brand, brand, brand well, new. It's not it like, has. It's a, not like a 2021. Guys. I know, but the van has a thousand miles on it. It's, it's brand new. Nice. It's really nice. I mean, it's up in Mexico right now. It is. So, it is in Mexico right now because if you didn't know, we are making. Um, I'll let, we're just letting all kinds of cat out of the bags in this podcast. If you listen to this podcast and pay attention. All right. So here, we're going to just say it. So if you're listening to this podcast, you're going to be the first to know. So we have a new hood coming out for the Chevy Express vans. It's going to look like a 2020 Chevy Silverado hood. I have a two and a half inch flared fiberglass fender coming for the van as well as well as front fender flares, and as well as rear fender flares. So I just dropped a ton of stuff on you guys. If you're paying attention and you own a Chevy, comment below how excited are you to see this stuff. And if you tell me how excited you are to see it, let's give away what, a shirt, a hat? What do you want to give away? I want to give away... um, A growing up garage shirt? How about like... A hoodie and a shirt. Like All right. A hoodie. So we're going to give away a hoodie and a shirt to whoever comments on this. And it has to pertain to the fiberglass fenders or hood or fiberglass products that we have coming out. Therefore, I know you guys watch this video in its entirety. So make sure you mention the word fiberglass in your comment. You will be entered to win what Caden ever get, is given away. And guys, make sure to comment what we should name that black Ooh, that is a good one, too. So I'll do another contest. We'll give you a hat and a T-shirt. We'll pick a winner. And here, I'm going to do this even bigger. If you pick a name for the van, I'm going to give you a hat, a T-shirt, and $150 to spend at Weld Tech Designs if we pick your name. How Wait, so like... So if they pick out a good name, if they pick a name, they come up with a name that we love, we'll give them $150 in Weld Tech cash plus a hat plus a shirt. Boom, representing. All right. And the Red Bull. And and the Red Bull, blue, because we love Red Bull. So, um, yeah, a lot of cool stuff coming out for you guys. So if you guys are hanging out, just BSing with us up here in the attic, I mean, I really appreciate it. We love having you guys come up here and hang out. Is there anything else... Austin, can you think of that we should talk? I mean, I just dropped a ton of product. We talked I about know. Nissan product, Ford Transit what product, you Chevy about product. Them about the new WeldTech hats? Well, we got Caden's representing a new Weldhead, WeldTech hat with the red, white, and blue. So you guys let me know what you guys think of that. We need to maybe throw up an American flag on that um, yeah, like and make like, it even like. Or how about the WeldTech's like the. Oh, it looks like the, a flag? Yeah. That'd be kind of cool too. Like yeah, the for sure. Like inside of a flag or something. Yeah, I like that idea. You know, we're making vans great again over here. You know, we love making vans great. But they have been great for a while too. They have been great. You are right. Vans have been great. And you know what else? What do we got coming up? On December 13th, we want all of you guys to tune into Racer Radio. Um, I will give you the details of that because we're going to be on the radio, right? Yeah, so make sure you guys listen to that radio on that day. Yeah. And we're going to be on that. And this is kind of like our practice for that radio, too. It is, but you do pretty good up here talking on this. You know, I think you're going to kill it on the radio. What do you think about you and your friends coming up here and doing a podcast? Would that be a good time? Yeah, I would just like to, and it would be a, yeah, yeah. good idea. That's a good idea. So growing up garage, maybe we'll throw three kids in a podcast. Let. Excuse me, that Red Bull coming back up. Let them have a good time and just talk and be kids up here and and uh, be entertaining. So I don't know if we have anything else. We're, you know, got anything else we want to talk about? Did Austin have anything? Um, what do you expect? Austin, we didn't ask oh, Austin. Wait, uh, I know, I know. Oh, wait. We didn't talk. We never said that, like, about, like, Kendall driving a mini Oh, we didn't. Good one. So. 
Kendall started driving a mini dwarf. We were super excited. We, Caden and I, have been bugging Kendall to drive a mini dwarf all and year. We just said we were banging her with a toy and everything. And yes. Like, you can have that. You can have a TV. You can get whatever you we want. We even joked around and told her we'd get her a pony. Yeah. We even thought, we even told her we'll get a horse. And when we, um, on one of our videos behind the scenes, we were, um, we were like uh, talking about her rap, and then we were like, "Kendall, what if maybe we wrap your car because we um, have a new car for her?" And we were like, "What if we wrap in? She's not old enough to drive one of those cars." And we were like, "You need two years of experience to drive that car." And we were like, "Maybe, um, Ken, you can. We'll wrap your mini dwarf in your." car your new car if you drive a mini dwarf and then she got and then she gets a special treat yeah and she was totally excited all she wanted she didn't like the stickers that were on it she wanted it she loves pink and purple she said if it's pink and purple i will drive it and i was like really that's what it takes it just like, has to be pink and purple yeah like pink and, and purple if i had a bag for a mini dwarf i would because we were saying a tv i would just say okay tv Right, but you're already, we don't have to bribe you because we know you love to drive. So Kendall drove our mini dwarf for the first time, and she raced it this weekend. She did absolutely fantastic um, driving it. Outrunning a bunch of kids. Yeah, she did. She raced a couple other kids and definitely um, beat them and just did really good. It was awesome. She ended up getting first place in it with other kids. Even one was nine years old. So... Um, and she beat him, which was really neat. So very cool. I'm super excited for next season for both of my kids to be racing. And is um, there anyone, anything else you want to talk about? Like, I was, we were going to ask Austin, Austin, we want, we didn't, we said, well, I don't even know. We asked Caden what he was thankful for. Yeah, so Austin needs a haircut. Maybe? <laughs> Austin's hair looks amazing. Hey, it looks a lot better than my hair. Oh, <laughs> Imagine seeing Austin in the bald hair. Oh yeah. So Austin, what are you thankful for? I'm thankful for my family. Thankful to be here working for Well Tech and growing up garage. Uh, thankful for a lot. So let's talk about that because we're almost going to be on like a year recap. Maybe we'll have to do a year recap, but definitely. What when even you, is that? I know. So, but I look back. So Austin's been with us for a year and a half. Two years. Two years. Two years. Yeah. So now, what do you think? I mean, did you when, you when you first started here two years ago, did you think it was going to be this long, or what did you think? I was unsure. I thought I thought you said it was only going to be a year. So I was like, oh, it's probably a year, and then there, now we're two years going. And been traveling all over the yeah. place, Austin's, doing crazy things. Austin's been awesome, too. Yeah, Austin, we tease like, Austin that. I like Austin here because we tease him that he's my older brother i know everyone always thinks so whenever we go somewhere we're filming stuff and we're with Alyssa and him um uh, they think Alyssa is austin's mom they do most of the time though it'll be like me and kaden and austin and we'll be doing stuff and people are always like oh are these your kids you know and i guess well i am old enough for austin to be austin's dad but um i guess since i refuse to grow up old though I, I refuse to think that I'm old enough to have a child the age of Austin. You're not old. I know. I'm I'm not old either. Don't so, be rude to yourself and don't jinx yourself. Oh, yeah, there we go. I love this guy. He's crazy. So, um, guys, this has been a ton of fun. I love coming up here just hanging out, talking. And I think what I love about it the most is it's just kind of that separation from work. We get to, you know, take a break. No one comes up here and bugs us or it's like, like remember that one video about the tires when Alyssa, when we were in the go kart room, and Alyssa had to talk about you about an estimate, and she kept coming in while we were trying to film the video. No, but you remember everything. So this but guy remembers the I stuff got he remembers. Another everything. thing to talk about. Oh, what do you got? How is um, the well tech business going? So I want to say that well tech business has been great. Thank you for asking. Um, it's been really good, and I would say that that is one thing that I'm very thankful for in this crazy time. I know a lot of bin businesses have a lot of restrictions on them. Um, you know, my heart definitely goes out to those businesses because I know how difficult it can be to run a business, 
Um, and I think my biggest thing is, is if you make a mistake in your own business and you go out of business, you're like, okay, well, I made some bad choices. I spent money the way that I shouldn't have spent it. And when it comes to the, what's going on right now, um, you know, we're going to call it the man has closed down a lot of businesses or made them unable to open, which really sucks when you impose that kind of thing on these businesses. And I get it. They're just trying to make a living. They're just trying, you know, that's what America is all about. It's about the dream um, to be able to be your own boss, to have the choice to be your own boss, to, you know, go out and create something amazing. And that's what this whole country, that's what we are doing here. And when you can't do it, it, it's definitely, um, it definitely sucks. And that's why, you know, I always encourage you, um, because I tell him growing up garage is his business and um, it's his opportunity to make it grow and to make it something awesome. Like how it's called growing up garage. We want to grow it up in the garage. We are, because you are growing up in the garage here at the shop, huh? I've been here a lot too and yeah. Yeah, look at this guy's hands. Put your hands up to the camera. Look how filthy these hands are. I was painting. Yeah, you were. Spray painting. He was working on Christmas projects here. So, guys, I think we're going to wrap this thing up. I've had a ton of fun up here. Every time I'm up here, I have such a good time, and I say i got to do it more. But, but Before we end it, what are we going to, like, what are you guys going to do on Thanksgiving tomorrow? Yeah, so comment. What are some of your, maybe, that's a great one, buddy. What are some of your family traditions? What do you guys do on Thanksgiving? I know a lot because of people. we're going to hang out with uh, my uncles and uh, my uh, grandpa and grandma. Yeah. So what are your Sam family traditions? I would love to hear them. You know, guys, I love hearing from you. And, um, Austin, and I try to get on there and tomorrow? answer, or, you know, a lot of your questions or respond to your guys' stuff as well. So I'm definitely very grateful for everyone that watches our videos. And, oh, what is the school? What is, what is Austin going to do tomorrow? What are you doing for Thanksgiving, Austin? Just hanging out with the family all day. That's the whole point why we're asking you, what are you going to do? Yeah, you guys eating dinner? Oh, yeah, you we're going guys... to eat dinner, obviously. We're going to hang out at my house. What are you going to eat? Yeah, do you turkey, guys do turkey or we do turkey, ham? Turkey, normal everything, yeah. Okay. Mashed potatoes. Mmm, oh. delicious. Stuffing. Well, everything. Poppy, our Caden's grandpa, my wife's husband, we call him Poppy. And uh, he makes some. Um, my. Oh, sorry. Yeah. <laughs> your wife. So my <laughs> wife's dad, there you go. My wife's dad, he loves to cook and always cooks amazing food. So it's always great to have him over. So, yeah, luckily my wife doesn't have a husband, you hey. know, besides me. Yeah, then I wouldn't get to race. I know, right? You remember that, you know, you got to keep me alive and kicking. So, um, I don't know. You got anything else, buddy? Uh, what do you think? So we asked Kendall if she would come up here, and she said maybe she will. So we're going to try to get Kendall up here to talk. She's definitely a lot more shy than Caden. But um, I think that's it. I think we could, Hold on. you know, wait. We could. Another podcast. Well done. Well done. Bravo. I'm thinking. Yeah, did you guys check out all of our videos? And make sure you guys subscribe. We're trying to get to a thousand, as I said in the beginning, um, subscribers, and I think we're at like four hundred and. You just hit five hundred today. Ooh, yeah, five hundred. So we're halfway there, guys. Okay. Um, we really need your help. I'm gonna. I'm not gonna lie. So for all the two hundred and thirty so people that are gonna watch this, take the time to do it. Um, please subscribe to that channel because it really helps the YouTube gods promote our videos more and share them more. And if there's anything that you guys find interesting in those videos, um, please share them on some of the other forms of social media. We YouTube has definitely made it a lot harder for new creators to grow um, as you know, their goal is they push all the big new creators that have been on there forever. You know, I mean, don't get me wrong. Mr. Beast is awesome. I love watching what that guy does. And that guy gives away just so much stuff. Like it's, millions of dollars. Dude, seriously. But I like watching him because it's entertaining. And one time he did a video where um, he does rental pickups. And whoever he picks up, he in that car, he gives the person who he rented 
that car to that person. See, we need to do the same thing. So when we get big enough, what we're going to do is we're going to have a kid come and they're going to use a tools in the toolbox. And when we're done using the tools in the toolbox, <laughs> they, get the they get the whole toolbox. We're just going to give <laughs> yeah, them the toolbox tool and be like, hey, this whole toolbox is yours now. <laughs> Would that be the coolest thing? Yeah, like, life's fun. Yeah, like, that would be cool. Yeah, I mean, so stuff like, like that would yeah, be... Yeah, like, we had, like, Kelly Weidzel, and someone came over, and we were, like, going to do a tool thing, and then we were like, Kelly, you get the toolbox. I know, but how cool would it be just to go pick up some, find some random kid at one of the workshops that we do, and then at that a workshop... random kid? Yeah, just a random kid that comes up and that likes working on the tools and be like, hey, you know what we're going to do? We're going to give you a whole toolbox Full of tools well, that they get to take home. Well, why don't, like, we do a weekend? Okay, do you want to come to our shop and we can show you, like, our shop? And then um, we'll show you, like, all of our tools and then we can maybe make something. And then at the end we'll be like, you can have a toolbox. That would be great, too. And that's one of our goals is to not necessarily just be out in the community. Um, but our goal is to also bring kids into our shop um, as we're creating a whole new um, shop experience so that we could even bring kids into the shop and teach them where they actually get to work on a race car with Caden um, and teach, you know, Caden can teach them some of the stuff that he's learned all about working on the race car. So wait, I'm going to, wait, oh, wait, geez, oh. wait, wait, <laughs> Austin, what, we never asked Austin what's his goal. For what? Like his goal for his channel and I don't keep up on my YouTube anymore, bud. Austin, <laughs> I got your YouTube done. He's got your YouTube, and now you just made a TikTok channel that we got to start doing. Yep. I have a TikTok channel? Now you do? We're going to start so soon TikToking you, it. So soon TikTok. Just, so soon just give me a, give me a, get me a phone, and then I'll start doing a bunch of TikToks with my race cars. Okay, that sounds like a great idea. There we go. I tell my sis. There does TikToks. Yeah, with our horses and other stuff, huh? Yep. Well, mostly it's all for dances, crazy dances. Crazy dances. Renegade and a bunch Renegade, of Renegade, Renegade, Renegade. Yeah. Um, so, that's it. We're done. We got to end yeah, this. We're no, coming up on like 40 no, minutes. No, People no, aren't no, going to no, stay no, this no. long. No. All right. So, guys, thank you so much. Um, I really appreciate all of you. If you are still watching, um, I give you like a big high five. I really thank you for supporting Wild Tech Designs, for supporting what we have going on here. Um, you know, and if you've subscribed to Growing Up Garage, even what a did you big tell hug. About so, the new video that's uploaded too. Well, there's new videos every week, guys. We're putting up new videos on both every channels week. every week. Every week we put I up don't a new think video. Every, every week. Austin, are we putting up a new video every week? Every single week. No, not like every week. Every like week, yeah. Every we like put two videos a week. Two for growing or two for two for Wild Tech Designs and, and, and one, one for, for you. Yeah. Sometimes we do two videos for you too. That's not enough. That's why you guys have so many subscribers. You do more videos. Yeah, oh, we do. We do a little bit more. But we do a lot of vans here, and we can't have you here all the time because you still got to go to school and be smart. Stop playing with the core. Oh, geez. You're now he's going to call me out. Now he's going to call you me said, out. He's playing well. You said, don't, at the beginning, don't play with the core. <laughs> it's not. Now he didn't want that one either. That's what I wanted. No, I want the. No. No, Alright guys, you know how I do it You know how I finish it off We're done here at Well Tech Designs This guy will talk forever And if you've come here to the shop You will see him talk a million We need to finish out with the laugh Alright, so guys That's it, that's it We're done here Alright, I will see you guys in the next video don't Thank you so end. much Stop. for watching. Don't I don't end it. Wait, how do I just turn his microphone off? Help. That's it. That's the one, right? No, Caden's laugh. <laughs> this guy's crazy. All right, I'm wrapping this up. Guys, that's the end of it. That's it. See you guys in the next podcast. Bye. Thank you so much for watching. And I'm Caden Johnson.
ninety one.